We'll now see how to calculate solutions for new atmospheric uh, boundary layer cases. So here at the top of this list you have a, a, an item called Add New and if I click this one then this window pops up which um, is a way to uh, define the three main parameters which is uh, surface roughness here for border but uh, there's a special thing with water that it changes with wind speed. And then there's something for the height of the boundary layer here. Um, actually we often set this to 400 meters and we have found that it's, it's not, doesn't, the solution doesn't change so much when we change this. Um, you can also set the range of uh, the heights where, where we, you calculate the solution and that can be as um, not all the way, but only you should always include the the heights, where you, the hop heights of all the turbines, and maybe also from the lower to the upper tip. And then there's a stability parameter here, which is the surface roughness divided by the monum obukov length here. And uh, there's a list of uh, pre-calculated. Um, half solutions, we call them uh, preliminary lookup tables um, and you can also define here again you have you can can make a new one. You can also um, so th this is one way you can, can insert the numbers directly if you know what they are. You can also go in here uh, and set up an example and uh, it's um, it's uh, assuming that the, the the wind and temperature of profile of the boundary layer is in, in balance and then uh, you can say if the speed is like this at this height and uh, you have uh, measured some temperatures at, at different heights this would be the maybe the surface of the sea then if you press here then uh, you can 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 get these these numbers here if you haven't calculated them in, in other ways. Uh, the third way is to use this uh, strange diagram and uh, I uh, will explain what it is. This is wind speed on this axis here and um, the, the these lines here from, from, from left to right, these curves here, are these uh, preliminary lookup tables, uh, and then uh, you can also you can get rid of these hints here by uh, deselecting this, and uh, then um, these uh, blue dots is where you already have a solution, and then you can click uh, on on new places if you press the mouse uh, the the shift key and and the mouse, then you can. Uh, select new um, um, conditions where you want to calculate. And um, also these colors here, they indicate stability classes as defined by in a recent article by, by some of my colleagues. colleagues. Um, unfortunately, Fuga has a problem with calculating uh, uh, stable and very stable uh, situations. So we are excluding this area here because we simply don't s trust the uh, solution here. Uh, then I can also say that there's something you can, uh, if I deselect the legend and then show profiles, then you can see what, what this solution looks like here. This is uh, the wind profile that will change when you change these parameters here and also the the temperature profile and the eddy diffusivity. If you have unstable situation then a stable then this will look differently. Um, so when you have found the conditions which you like then you press OK and then Fugas should start calculating and it's already doing so and you can follow the progress of the calculations if you go to this uh, panel here called File Overview and then there's a log file here and uh, now it's first calculating the preliminary lookup tables and then it will calculate lookup tables for each turbine in the projects 
so it's going to take a little while so i think we'll stop here